Welcome back to the month of Mario. Um, okay, so this game is Cool Mario, although the title screen doesn't say it. Um, it must be an earlier hack, because some of these um, early hacks just don't have any sort of introduction or anything. Um, it's just once you get to the first level, shit just gets we real or weird or something. So anyway, um, this is Cool Mario, and this marks the beginning of those um, SNEX um, custom levels that are just crazy. Um, there are a lot of crappy ROM hacks for the SNES. For some reason, they're easier to find than the ones for Super Mario Bros. 1 or 2, and or 3, and they're just, either they're insanely hard, and I'm not talking about Kazario, which is like, there's a deliberate, you know, sort of understanding that you're playing a difficult game. These are games that are poorly designed that are difficult. Cool Mario is not as bad as some of the other ones in this category that I'm sort of arbitrarily creating, but it it's it's kind of among them. It's like the 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 benign, less aggressive, sort of like mean brother of the other types of games. As you see, like the coins here are giving me one one ups, and I think it's because the creator knows that the game is sort of like weird. Um, but again, compared to some of the other ones in this category, this is playable. I'm just going to say that. So it's not bad, bad. But some of the game design choices are kind of arbitrary. And I think, I mean, given, you know, Super Mario Maker, I'm pretty sure that people out there who are deliberately making levels like this. I'm complaining now because I'm thinking of something like, you know, say... Frank's Mario ROM hack. Frank apparently is a guy that made a ton of Mario custom levels that are weird. And I played through that game, which reminded me of this game, but a worse version of this game. And I was so pissed. Anyway, I'm done ranting, but um, um, let's just continue with the cool Mario um, playthrough. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing the 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 commentary and post if you can't tell, um, but for some reason it's easier to do post for the Super Mario um, ROM hacks because I don't know why, but but anyway, not much has changed here. This is the underground part of the level, whatever. Um, I get to keep Yoshi. It's funny, he created a... Okay. Yeah, if I didn't have Yoshi, I wouldn't be able to jump over that. I mean, the other levels, obviously, the, the pathway is supposed to guide you over the football player, but... Let's see, that's what I'm talking about. It's kind of weird. I guess it's a trap, but whatever. Yeah, see, like... Implicitly, you just... You know, like some of these hacks, like I said before, they force you to freaking go to the... The, um, the, the palace... If I didn't have Yoshi there, obviously I would have died, and like, it's not difficult, it's just arbitrary. Now this is my fault, I died here. That was my own clumsy, you know, eager behavior. What I'm going to do all throughout this playthrough is, um, come back to this level and collect power-ups and Yoshi. But I forgot that you can press select to get out of the level, so I just... I marathon the level every time I do this. Thank you. 
So this is where I figure I should try and um, go to the palace. I think Kumaru gave me the, um, freaking cape because it knew that that would make the game really, really easy. Because if I had, had to platform throughout this, I mean, it wouldn't be hard, hard, because I played harder hacks, but it'd be annoying. It would be really annoying if I didn't have the cape or Yoshi or both. I don't know if there's a goal up there. I guess to end the level prematurely, I don't know. Maybe it'll let you to come back, I don't know. That's kind of weird, though. Freaking love that pose, though. The cape and his, um... Yeah. I decided to go back to eat Yoshi. Sort of like moonwalking here. I'm not, like Mario just gets pushed back, I guess because of the um, collision detection? Because in, in, in the actual game, yeah, the, the um, those blocks wouldn't be that low, so I guess there's collision detection from the blocks pushing him against the ground, making him sort of walk backwards or something. Uh, it's sort of like a moonwalk if you like push forward and he's moving backwards. It's kind of cool, but obviously it wasn't intentional, and I think it shows sort of that the game is. Um, I don't. It's not an amateur. It's not an amateur hack, but it's definitely not like a professional level deliberate, you know, game design kind of hack. Again, it's not because of the difficulty, it's sort of just like the level design decisions are kind of just, they feel kind of arbitrary. Although, I do feel like I'm kind of cheating here, because I'm using Yoshi and I'm using uh, Cape makes this so much easier. <laughs> and I have to get rid of Yoshi, I feel bad for doing that. Especially given all the time I spent getting Yoshi, that's sort of my fault. So I think we're like halfway done with the um, this playthrough, and I think the demo only counts to 
World 2, I think. I, I do think, I, if I remember correctly, I did try it, but I don't remember what happened. I think I was supposed to use a pea block here, but I mean, it doesn't matter, obviously. <sighs> I lost my, my power. I'm gonna lose it again if I'm not careful. I debated on going back, but I figured it was a waste of time. That was my mistake. I forget what this was for, but I didn't really. I guess that, but. Most of the, the hacks, uh, even if they're beyond level like 1, World 1, they all feature the... whatever these are. One hack called them Pancake Mashers was pretty funny. Cool Mario also was one of the first hacks I played, so... Um, you can kind of tell that I'm... Very much so, kind of. My experience with the original Super Mario World is very limited because I played it and was like a toddler, I think. And it wasn't on my my own SNES. I didn't really get into Mario until I was like, you know, probably eight or nine. And it was usually the, um, the only game I have intimate experience with is Super Mario Land 2, which is the Game Boy game. That said, though, I, I still I love platforming, so... I'm hoping to use the experience of playing Mario Maker and these ROM hacks to sort of guide me into developing my own platforming game. Maybe, someday, if I'm not uh, a slacker. That was clearly my mistake. So that's World 1 of Cool Mario. Um, kind of now vaguely remembering my experience in the second world, and it was, it was weird. 
which is why this video is, is actually 19 minutes. Uh, I'm going to show you guys um, the silly, silly, silly second level. Um, it kind of reminds me of a Super Wario World um, level with the question blocks. Um, not to spoil what you're going to see in the next like five seconds, so we'll just go ahead and show you. So see, the, there's a gate there. Um, you can't reach it, or you can reach it, sorry, but what happens is there's not enough space to walk. So, you, you die. Um, even if you didn't have Yoshi, and you got to the top of the ledge or whatever, if I jumped off of Yoshi, which I think is what I wanted to go back and try, if I jumped off of Yoshi, could I... could I... live, basically, was a question in my mind. Which is a good question, and that's why I went back to get Yoshi, but... Again, sorry, I didn't remember to freaking Exit the level. I didn't want to cut it, because I'm a lazy asshole bastard. Um... Although this wasn't a complete waste of time, I learned how to platform better, kind of, going through the level, speed playing it. So here we are, Donut Plains 1, and do the thing, jump off Yoshi, and I die. I totally die. Yeah, my theory is that the level wasn't completed, and so that's there to prevent you from, from beating it, but, I mean, it's possible you can get over it, but what happens is that even if you jump under it, it triggers the, um, triggers the end sequence. Like here, I'm just trying to jump to the other P block and it triggers even though I'm nowhere near the gate it triggers the the end stage sequence so this is the second time this happened to me in a playthrough so I was just really pissed about it obviously 